Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we will study the terminology for the four operations. And you already know some of these words. For example, the sum. That would be the answer for an addition problem, right? But it is also the addition itself that is also called the sum. For example, this here is called the sum of x and 5 and 2. Now these individual numbers we are adding are called the addends. Then in subtraction, the number we subtract from is the minuend, and the number we are subtracting is the subtrahend. The answer is called the difference. But also this subtraction expression, this 14 minus x, is also called the difference. It is the difference of 14 and x. Or another example, the difference of 15 and 7 is 15 minus 7. And then you can calculate it. It equals 8. So 8 is the difference and also 15 minus 7. That expression is the difference. Here in multiplication, the numbers we multiply are called factors. I could have more of them too. I could have 3, 4, 5, however many numbers there to be multiplied. And then the answer is called the product or the multiplication expression is called the product. This particular one is the product of 3 and y, okay? Or the product of 4 and 7 would be 4 times 7, right? And then lastly, in division, the number we divide is the dividend, and then the number that is dividing is the divisor. The answer is the quotient. Or this expression here is also called the quotient. It's the quotient of 24 and z. Over here, you can do some thinking. Find a strategy for finding the missing dividend in a division equation, such as here's an equation where the dividend is missing, the first number, OK? So how would you find that? I'll tell you a little hint. Let's try an easier problem where the dividend is still missing, such as, let's put 2 there and 8. Can you see what number goes in here? 16, right? 16 divided by 2 equals 8. So how could we find this 16 from 2 and 8? We multiply, of course, right? So over here also, to find the missing dividend, we can multiply those two. Okay, so 3, 7, 6 times 14. 4 times 6, 24, and then 28 plus 2 is 30, and then 12 plus 3 is 15. And then 1 times 6, 1 times 7, 1 times 3. So we get 4, 6, 12, and 5. 5,264. Write an expression. The product of 5 and z subtracted from 30. Think about it for a minute. The product of 5 and z subtracted from 30. I'm going to start out with the product of 5 and z. That's the multiplication, right? 5 times z. Now, notice I'm not going to write that little x sign for multiplication, because it could be confused with the letter x. So I'm going to write a raised dot here, and then subtract it from 30. OK, is it this minus 30 or 30 minus that? Which one? It's this thing is subtracted from 30, so it's 30 minus 5 times z. The quotient of the quantity 2 plus 8 and the quantity 1 plus 3. OK, the quantity is here meaning this 2 plus 8, this sum, OK? But we're going to write a quotient. That means a division, right? And I'm going to use, instead of, the, instead of the division symbol, I'm going to use this fraction line for division symbol. And we divide the quantity 2 plus 8 by the quantity 1 plus 3. Both of them are sums. That's what we were asked to do. Now, I could also calculate or simplify this expression, and I would get 10 divided by 4 which is 2.5. 36 divided by the sum of 2, 3, and x. Could you write that expression? It's not difficult. 
36 divided by the sum of 2, 3, and x. Okay, 36 divided by, and then over here we put the sum or the addition, 2 plus 3 plus x. And we don't need to do anything to this expression. It is not asking us to do anything, just to write the expression. The difference of 5 and y divided by the sum 2 plus 4. Okay. The difference of 5 and y, and then that is divided by the sum 2 plus 4. This division once again. Okay. Here we have the difference of 5 and y. The difference was subtraction, right? So 5 minus y and then divided by the sum 2 plus 4. And lastly, the quantity 3s added to the quotient of s and 4. Okay, there's addition, and then there's the quotient of s and 4. The quotient of s and 4 would be s divided by 4. And then 3s is added to that. So we could write this plus 3s. It would also be equivalent to write 3s plus s divided by 4 because you can add quantities in any order. And now we are all done with this lesson.